Managing and Treating Alzheimer's Disease. Alzheimer's disease currently cannot be cured. Medications may help reduce symptoms and slow memory loss. Treatments that don't use medication may also help. One group of medications for Alzheimer's disease, called cholinesterase inhibitors, work by increasing the level of a brain chemical, acetylcholine, that is believed to help with memory and thinking. Three medications that work in this way have been approved to treat mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease, rivastigmine, galantamine, and tenepazil. Tenepazil is also approved to treat moderate to severe Alzheimer's. One or two out of every 10 people who take these medications may find that the drug causes nausea and vomiting. Other side effects may include loss of appetite, diarrhea, and slowed heart rate. One medication, memantine, is approved to treat moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease in combination with denepazil. Memantine may help some people with Alzheimer's disease keep doing some daily activities, such as going to the bathroom on their own, longer than they otherwise would. Memantine works in a different way than other medications for Alzheimer's disease. People with Alzheimer's disease have too much of a chemical called glutamate in the brain. Too much glutamate can kill brain cells. Memantine works by keeping the amount of glutamate in the brain under control. The most common side effects of memantine are dizziness, headaches, confusion, diarrhea, and constipation. Other side effects may include pain, gaining weight, feeling tired, and seeing or hearing things that aren't real. Because memantine works in a different way than other medications for Alzheimer's disease, doctors may prescribe it in combination with another medication, denepazil. Taking two drugs may relieve Alzheimer's symptoms for longer than just taking one. Medications for Alzheimer's disease don't work for everyone. Some people may do better on one drug than on another. So if one drug doesn't seem to help, the doctor may suggest switching to a different one. People with Alzheimer's disease may feel depressed, anxious, or agitated. The doctor may prescribe medications to treat these symptoms. These drugs can cause serious side effects such as mood swings, dizziness, and stroke. To avoid these side effects, it's best to take these drugs in low doses and for a short time. Treatments that don't use medication can help people with Alzheimer's disease sleep better, feel calmer, and happier and possibly keep doing daily activities for longer. Adjusting lighting can improve sleep. Listening to favorite music may also help. Looking at photos and talking about past life events may improve mood. Playing games, doing puzzles, and using a calendar can improve alertness. Being physically active can help improve attention, memory, speech, and other mental skills. Brain exercises done with a small group of people may improve mood and slow the loss of mental skills. Active management means managing the symptoms and behavior caused by Alzheimer's disease in several different ways. Studies show that active management helps both people with Alzheimer's disease and their caregivers feel better and get more out of life. Active management of Alzheimer's disease includes prescribing medication to help with symptoms such as memory loss, treating other illnesses that a person with Alzheimer's disease may have, and supporting and training caregivers to help them better manage daily care for the person with Alzheimer's disease. Trying to keep everyone involved in caring for the person with Alzheimer's disease, like doctors, therapists, and caregivers, on the same page. Helping the person with Alzheimer's disease connect with other people and remain as active as possible in activities that have meaning for them. As yet, no treatments for Alzheimer's disease can stop the disease from getting worse over time. On average, people with Alzheimer's disease may live with the disease for between 3 and 11 years. New treatments for Alzheimer's disease are being studied in clinical trials. Ask your doctor if your loved one might benefit from enrolling in a clinical trial. As a caregiver for a person with Alzheimer's disease, you may have many questions. If it's hard to know where to start, try asking a family member or friend to help you make a list of questions. If you wish, use the following questions as a starting point. Feel free to add your own questions to this list. 
How sure are you that my loved one has Alzheimer's disease? How and when will we know if the treatment you have prescribed is working? What are the next steps if this treatment doesn't help? Will medications for Alzheimer's disease interfere with other medications that my loved one takes? What side effects should I watch for? When should I call you? How can I make our home safe and comfortable for my loved one with Alzheimer's? Where can I get help and support in caring for my loved one with Alzheimer's disease at home? Discuss all of your treatment options and questions with your doctor and healthcare team. This will help you make decisions that are right for you and your loved one. If there's anything you don't understand, ask to have it explained.